Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS Learning Forum. This video is going to show how to use SpaceClaim to edit STL data. And uh, the data was provided by Lot in this uh, forum post. So you can go there to get a copy of the data if you want to try it for yourself. And uh, I've opened the STL file it was provided. It's a little different from um, the image here, which has had work done to it. But the question is how to get rid of some of these uh, protrusions. So that's what we'll be looking at today. And uh, I'm driving with a space mouse, which lets me uh, zoom in um, with an extra device on the desktop. And I'll just use that some of the time. And some of the time I'll use the scroll wheel on the mouse. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, explore the select tool and the select tool is how you get rid of things so the uh, first thing is you can pick a single item and hit delete and it's gone if you double click you can actually get a um, set of faces that are similar in um, tangency to that face that was picked uh, now, when you get too many, you just click outside and say, no, I don't want that. Now, there are other tools that you can use, which is uh, box select. And uh, those are found here. So there's the box select tool. And when you're selecting box, there's two settings, visible and through. So if I box select uh, over here and... Um, pick those, only the uh, facets that are completely inside the box are selected. If I, on the other hand, go in the opposite, if I, on the other hand, go, uh, let's go over here, if I go uh, left to right instead of right to left, then anything touching the box is selected. So be aware of uh, left to right versus right to left, and most useful of all is through, so if there's nothing behind the thing you want to delete, you can come here and uh, get things on both uh, sides of the thing at once. And so box select is going to get us down pretty close to um, a clean edge. And then some of the final uh, cleanup will be with the paint tool. So we'll switch from box select to paint. And now we can paint across and pick up things that just stick up a little bit too much. And uh, we want to be aware we were using the through tool or the through setting. So we're going to hit escape and uh, change from through to visible. Because when we're picking these, we don't want to go through to the other side. So I'm going to paint now with through turned off knowing that only things I touch will get taken and things behind will be safe. So that's the uh, important distinction on through versus uh, visible. And uh, so we'll just keep tidying up a little bit these edges. And uh, there's, there's one single piece that uh, that's actually a, sorry, that is a uh, not sticking up, but it's a, uh, oh, the, yeah, these couple are sticking up. So they change color depending on whether you are uh, looking on the inside or the outside. And we'll just uh, see if we can get a few of those cleaned up. We don't want, it's good to zoom in, don't want that. And this one, we don't want these couple. But I, I clicked, I, I painted too far. And there's another one we don't want, sticking up a little bit, these couple. Escape, let me get a better angle on those. There's a good angle. So at the end of the day, um, hit Z for zoom when you when you base mouse all the way too far out. Since this is just a demo, we're not gonna we're not gonna make it perfect, but that's pretty darn good. And so 
um, what can happen, which I'll show over here uh, later, is some pieces get left. And the way to check if there's anything is use the separate all, but there's nothing left hanging out in space. So we're good to use the fill holes tool. It finds all the holes and you just say fill that one. And you can see I've still left a few things pointing up, so it, it poked up a little. If you wanted to do more work, you'd simply undo and go back to the Select tool and say, ah, let's uh, paint over a few more of these to get rid of that upward trend, which was not desirable, uh, and see if we get a little flatter, uh, a little flatter attitude. And maybe these few here. So uh, maybe those few there. So that may be a better way to fill that hole. And yeah, it's not it's not poking up so much. So that's the general approach. Uh, just we'll finish off with this other comment on. Um, leaving pieces behind. So if we zoom in here and we were to use a uh, box select and through, so we're going through with the box select and we come and we take uh, we're on the holes tool, we need to be on the select tool, okay, and now we can box select, hit delete uh, now, if I use the separate all, um, this is separate from that and before they were together. So I can now just hit the delete key and get rid of things like that. So uh, another right to left. And that may be good. We're going to do a separate all. Nothing's left sitting out. So we'll use the holes tool and fill that hole. It's still protruding up a little, but uh, that's what we're. Uh, that's the purpose of the video is how to get rid of those those features. So the this one probably can get rid of pretty quick. Now I dug into the to get it a little flatter, and uh, and then paint a little bit around the edges. And then maybe uh, fill that hole. So back to the select tool. Always good to go back to the select tool. Uh, that is the story on how to remove uh, protrusions from um, from the uh, piece of geometry you're working on. Thanks for watching. Bye.